and good to see you all. But before I begin, I really just want to say uh, thank you guys for uh, all the great comments that have been uh, on this week's episode about my buddy Jeff Cron and his photography. We had an amazing time uh, doing that show. And so I'm really excited that you guys uh, had a chance to see it. Uh, don't forget, you guys can share that video if you like it. We really appreciate uh, everything you've done. Um, it's been so amazing, uh, just that level of support. So thank you, guys. Uh, let me also say we're here in Slinky's Pond, and uh, we're feeding Slinks. He's down here. Let me see if I can help out. Guys, this is going to be an interesting uh, video because I've got to adjust the camera as we go here. And there he is, Mr. Slinky. So Slinks is doing good. Let's give him a little crocodile biscuit. This is one of the, uh, the biscuits here. Let's see if he's gentle. Good boy. Nice, gentle Slinky having a bit of food. There's the Fly River Turtle. Um, so what we're doing today, it's going to be a little difficult for me to answer questions because the computer is so far away. So let me see if I can step over and start answering some questions. What I wanted to do is just kind of hang out with everybody, do a fun little video from inside the pond. Can you see Slinks? You watch this. This is really fun. You take one of these and you toss it up. Oh, went the wrong way. We'll do it again. So here's the biscuit. And now Slinky sees it and he goes right after it. So I'm going to check out and say hello to some of you guys as we're doing this thing here. Uh, let's see. Known laws of aviation. There's no way a bee should be able to fly. That's right. Actually, same thing with a uh, helicopter. Um, let's see. Uh, how big does Slinky grow? Well, Slinky seems to be a male, uh, a male water monitor and male water monitors can grow close to about uh, six, seven foot, sometimes even eight foot. They get very large. Second largest lizard on earth. Uh, second only to the good old Komodo dragon. So let's get him to take a bite out of my hands here. Come on. There he is. So Slinks has really calmed down here, man. He's a good boy. I love this lizard and I love this enclosure. Uh, basically Slinky, Come on up, come on up, come on up. Uh, oh, he almost got my fingers on that one, man. That was sketchy, but that's pretty cool, huh? Hand feeding the, the water monitor. Now, guys, I really should be careful because he wouldn't mean to hurt me, but he definitely could, and you got to treat these like the dangerous, large reptiles that they are, uh, so you don't want to take chances. Uh, this is an animal that people can just purchase in many different pet stores for, you know, about a hundred bucks. And they're all usually imported animals, which you shouldn't bother with. Those animals shouldn't be taken from the wild. They're always in bad shape and it's hard to keep those animals healthy. So please don't just buy a water monitor because you think it's cool to have a big lizard. Uh, these animals, as you can see, require a lot of space, lots of space. And we're throwing some of the small diet in there. Uh, and Slinky's really doing well today. Let's see what everyone's saying, man. Would I ever get any other monitors like a Nile or Argus? I like uh, Argus monitors. I like how they tripod. They kind of stand up on their hind legs. Um, that's kind of a cool lizard. But I tend to keep monitors like, you know, just right now it's Slinky. So just one monitor. And um, basically I like them because these guys will calm down. Nile monitors can be a little bit um, aggressive at first. Uh, they just have a different disposition, but these guys seem to do very, very well. And, uh, I like them a lot. So I'm going to stick with water monitors right now. I do also like black throats. Uh, can it kill a human with a bite? Uh, I'm in Pichiro. No, not really, but it can definitely ruin your day. It'll give you stitches and that would not be any fun at all. Um, you know, they're definitely, let's see if we can get him out of the water so you can see how big he is. Slinky, come on. Come say hello, everyone. Come show everyone how big and beautiful you are. Come on. Look at, look at, look at. We're going to get them out, guys. This is live, live reptile training here on YouTube on the Camp Kennan channel. Come on. Slinky's fat and happy. Oh, a little bit more. Come on. Oh, there he goes. There's Slinky, everybody. What a beautiful lizard. Let's see if I can adjust this camera. We'll get more of them. Let's see. I'll move it over here. I got this tripod, so it's the tripod's got to fit somewhere. And we've got turtles breeding underneath us. We got some redfoot tortoises that are just kind of hanging out. Let's see, there he is, slinky man, good boy. He's looking for more food, but unfortunately, I don't have any more of the big biscuits, so he's gonna have to settle for the little smaller biscuits that are actually in here. All right, so let's see if I can pick slinks up. Sometimes he lets it happen. Sometimes he doesn't. Look at that guy. Is that a beautiful lizard or what? So that's big old Slinky, and he's done much, he's gotten so much bigger as, as he's stayed here at Camp Kennedy. He's also a lot more friendly. 
because this would never have been able to happen had this been a few years ago. Oh my gosh, he's just so cool to watch swim. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing, guys? To be able to see a water monitor like this really enjoying his habitat and swimming, that's what makes it all worth it to me. Uh, so that's what we try and strive for is just getting these guys really, really the best possible habitat. You see how he's just looking around for food. He's exploring his home. That's what you want these lizards to do. They're so active, man. You can't keep this thing in a glass cage. You got to get it outside. You got to get it out there and it'll do its thing. So he's doing his thing right now. Loving the man, loving Slinky. Will I get a female water monitor? Yeah, I'd love to do that. Um, just got to wait. Some of the dangers, uh, we Van Zeal, is, um, you know, sometimes when you introduce the females to the males, the males can be so aggressive to the female. So you want to be careful and you got to monitor that and make sure they don't really beat each other up. So that's what I would say as far as getting a female. Um, you know, it's, it's important to have enough space and then to be able to get her out of the actual environment if something goes wrong. All right, let's see. What else do we got? Am I planning? Uh, we already talked about that. Let's see. How old is Slinky? Slinky is about uh, four years old. And uh, so he's pretty rad there. He, uh, Aiden, Aiden Powell asks, uh, will I ever get a crocodile or alligator? Jake Hosking. I used to have an alligator and I had a dwarf caiman. What's he doing? Where's Slinky going? Uh, but, you know, I don't have them any longer. Uh, I put them back at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. I uh, really don't want to keep them here. Um, that's about it. Let's see. Let's see where Slinky's going. So you guys can kind of see him on his adventure here. Uh-oh. I think he's finding, he's finding the bucket. So this is what you have to deal with, right? So Slinky, as you can see, he's a big active lizard and he's being a good boy. I don't want him to mess with the computer over here but he's being a pretty good boy right now. Let's see as he slinks around. Good old man there. See, he definitely smells everything here. And what's funny about Slinky is watch this. When I come up, maybe he'll, no, you're in a good mood? Good, he's being a real good boy today. So let's see if he'll just go ahead and eat right out of the bucket. Good grief. Uh, yeah, we like the outside videos too. We got a very, very long ethernet cable, about 200 foot cable. And that's definitely uh, been helping us out. So. If it's uh, an outside day, I'll definitely keep doing these outside videos for you guys so you can see a little bit more of what's going on day to day here at good old Camp Kennan. Uh, let's see. Um, has Slinky ever escaped? All right, John Kong. Good story. Okay, I got a story, guys. Let me, uh, let me just let Slinky, I'll come over here and tell the story. Can you guys see? Hold on, let's do this. All right, how's everybody? Let oh, me get, get out of your way. I don't know if you want to see me or Slinky, but anyway, uh, yeah, Slinky did get out once. I didn't have the bottom latched. Let's just do this. Let me see if I can get, Slinky got out. I didn't know he was out. And what happened, come on, Slinks. I don't want you to press any buttons on that because next thing you know, the feed will get cut short. There he is. So see this door over here, the bottom of that door, uh, he was able to push it open because I didn't have a latch at the bottom. And he actually dug out through the, uh, through the airlock. And when he did that, uh, he walked out and I came home and found him sunbathing on my patio. So it was a stroke of luck that I came home when I did or else I would have lost him. And I wound up fixing that enclosure or that door so he couldn't get out again. And that's uh, the end of that story because that would have been, if I lost Slinky, I would have been so bummed out guys like you have no idea let's turn this back all right slinky goes in the water apologize for all the camera moves today but as you can imagine let's see there he is as you can imagine it gets to be a little bit challenging when you have a large lizard who likes to explore uh so there you have slinks doing just that all right man let's see what are the questions doing i'm back over by the questions there's slinky doing his thing uh, hey, Carter Wynn, I'm volunteering at Reptiland. You should come up here and do another episode. I was up there this summer just to visit Clyde. He's one of my favorite reptile people. Uh, if anyone lives near Pennsylvania or is driving on Route 80, you have to stop at Reptiland. Clyde's place is amazing. So Carter, good job volunteering there. And make sure you tell Clyde Peeling that you watched the Camp Kennan Live show and that Kennan said to Clyde, hello. Uh, the Mexican 1821 Kenan, you, Steve Irwin, and Nigel Marvin inspired me to study wildlife biology, which is my major. I hope to be a herpetologist. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I mean, I can't believe you lumped me in with those uh, incredible people 
I, I love them too. And I enjoyed watching their, um, their shows and they were inspiring people. So to be helping inspire makes me happy. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, let's see, uh, Rep the Dash. Hello, I'm new. Welcome, Rep the Dash. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, really, really important. Uh, thank you so much. Aiden Powell, I persuaded you to have lizards. Wow, well, I hope your parents don't mind. All right, let's see. Do I have any blood pythons? Chris is me too. No, no bloods, but I have had them. Uh, let's see. The turtle temple barcode is saying, hey, Kenan, when I'm finished with my turtle and tortoise temple sanctuary in Columbia, South Carolina, I'd like to invite you to see it. So far, I have about 10 species I'm working with. Well, congratulations on getting that thing going, and thank you for taking care of animals. And uh, Melissa Kurtz is watching live from Lake Mary, Florida. Well, there you go. I'm not too far south. Uh, Cheyenne Morris is asking if they can visit Camp Kennan. Right now, the only way you can visit, guys, uh, look at the rhino iguana in the background, by the way. The only way you can um, visit is to actually uh, uh, watch these videos. I'm not open to the public, so I, I do apologize, but the insurance doesn't let me. Uh, let's see. How do I keep the water in? Well, there it's a sealed uh, bottom. It's sealed and I drain it completely once a week and then fill it back up. And then every night at 12 o'clock, it's on a timer and uh, it filters the water through. So that's what I do every night to filter the water through. It just comes on a timer and runs for about an hour and a half and that gets out the dirty water and uh, in goes the fresh, clean water. Now, let's see. Let's see, guys. Maybe we can also do another little treat for you um, as far as another species of animal here. Just because we're having fun. Look at Slinky. He's so he's such a good boy. Uh, let's see. I don't know. It, it's it's kind of like we got to get lucky. You know what I mean? Oh, excuse me. You see the Ethernet cable? It's so crazy. There's so much stuff going on here. Oh, oh we got lizards. We got giant lizards with cables. There he is. I was going to see if I could pull out the fly river turtle, but he's not making it easy. So he's not, he's not up and about. So uh, unfortunately, he's a no-show. All right. There goes Slinky. I'm going to pull him back out, pull him back in here because I want him to keep on walking around where you folks can see him while I'm talking. Oh, my God. Slinky's a handful. He just really wants to come over this direction. So let's, let's move the camera. We'll move the camera over here and you can kind of get an idea of the rest of his enclosure. Um, there's some logs. I just put them up to the shelf and he can climb up those logs and he can just walk right into his heated shelter, which is up on this platform. And there's some redfoot tortoises that he's saying hello to. Here comes Slinky. I just don't want him to hit this camera. I'm moving tortoises. I'm moving turtles. I got lizards everywhere. Oh, my life is so much fun. Oh, yeah. Come here, Slinks. Come on, come back out. Oh, get over here. What do you guys think of Slinky? You having fun today or what? This was a definite good idea is to come out here and hang with the man, the myth, the legend, the fat lizard, the Slinks. All right, get over there. Keep going. Let's have a look at some more questions. Oh, they have had a red-eyed croc skink from Reptodash. No. Uh, could Slinky rival a dog in, in intelligence? Nah, I don't know. I really don't know that. I know that monitors are definitely intelligent animals uh, and definitely uh, recognize me and sounds and noises. And it makes sense that they are intelligent because they are predators and scavengers and opportunistic feeders. And here's how he got out, guys. You watch him. Watch how smart he is. You want to talk about intelligence? He remembers how he got out. So he's going he's gonna to push on this and try and get out the door. See that? See it? Right now it's only latched here. So he's strong enough, he can push this aluminum frame door. And that's how this son of a gun got out. So now whenever he sees me come over, he knows that, oh, look at that. He didn't like that at all. And that's what they'll do with that big, powerful tail, man. They will whip you and it hurts. And they also have some sharp teeth and they got those claws. So he gets nervous when I walk over by him, see? Let's see. All right, is that too close for comfort, bud? Sorry. Man, he's keeping me on my toes, folks. He is keeping me on my toes, and now he's walking over here. Good grief. See, now, if he hits this, if he hits this, we're in trouble. There goes the feed. Uh-oh. Oh, Slinky, go in there. Whew. All right. 
All right, let's take some more questions. Uh, where did I get Slinky from Nature TV? Julian from uh, the Casey's. Uh, they wanted to give him a new home. He was getting too big, and uh, they were very nice and enjoyed my videos and sent Slinky to come live with me here in Florida. So I'm pretty psyched on that. Uh, thanks to them. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, would Guapo and Slinky get along? You know, funnily, Slinky got into Guapo's enclosure and I found them all in the heated shelter just relaxing together. Um, I wouldn't want to do that on the, on the regular, but you know, it worked out for one night and uh, that's it. Uh, he will eat tortoise eggs, tortoise of doom, and we fed him in Sunday's bonus video, a cracked sulcata egg. Uh, so yes, and then Red Bull 357 is asked, have I ever had Podicnemis unifilis, the yellow spotted Amazon turtle? And yes, I have. Uh, let's see, I'm supposed to be doing homework, but lizards are more interesting. Kayla, 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 don't get in trouble, but thanks for watching. Shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, let's see, I'd like to find Slinky a wife, uh, Flavosky13. You have a red foot tortoise, what's the best thing to put for them to sleep in? Uh, I don't know, a little shelter of some kind with a little hay and a little mulch, and they'll burrow on into it and go to bed. Uh, Slinky doesn't borrow those, uh, excuse me, bother the tortoises at all, Leiden. Uh, Linden, excuse me, Pearson. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? What's my favorite aquatic turtle? Fly river turtles are pretty fun. Uh, why don't you get more people to work with me? I'm really not that friendly. Uh, don't do well with others. Uh, I play with animals and that's about it. I'm just kidding. No, I don't need anyone else at this point. Uh, from time to time, I have some friends stop by and they help me out when I have a big job, but mostly it's basically just uh, me out here with the animals. Uh, it can be a lonely existence from time to time, but I make it work. And, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, Slinky likes to get out, and he's just having a look-see. I wonder if I can just... Yeah, there we go. Slinky's climbing up. You see what he does? So you see how Slinky never sits still? He's always kind of doing something. He's always moving around. That's what a giant monitor lizard, or even the small ones, do. So you've got to have a lot of space so he can exercise. Is he going to fall or is he going to make it up there? Oh, boy, easy slinky. And he's going to make it up. No worries. There we go. Very, very cool. Love him. So now slinky's up on his platform. This is where he comes out in the morning to bask and do his thing. I think he might have had enough of us today. I don't know. So there's that's him on his platform, everybody. And we might even see him go into his house for the evening. I don't know. He's just doing... That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the show's ending. Slinky is leaving the building. Holy smokes. That is pretty funny. Well, there you have it. Another fun live video. We got some questions answered. We lifted up a giant lizard. We had a great old time. You guys now get to see behind the old curtain, how it all happened. So I got my laptop, I got the ethernet cable. Uh, this is just the back wall of Slinky's enclosure. Uh, let's see, I'll get some. For Mike G, uh, so yeah. And uh, let's see, um, why don't I ship international? That's a good question. Right now, my partner is watching and he is working on that. My good old pal, uh, Tom Coppola, who films everything and keeps us doing a lot of fun videos. He uh, is working on that international shipping. So please be patient. I do appreciate everyone that's been buying t-shirts. Uh, real big help. Helps us keep Camp Kennan going. We have some fun stuff planned. Uh, for this uh, next year in 2017. Uh, that'll be really, really cool. All right, guys. Uh, see you later, the Mexican 1821. I hope you guys did have fun. I had fun being here. I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks so much for watching another live feed. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you enjoy these. And uh, I will see you for a bonus video on Sunday. See you guys.